That's sweet. <laughs> nice paint, man. No, the acoustic, I love it. What have we got, mate? Show us. Okay, um, we've done the Amun board. We've done a couple of Amun products before. We have done a video on the Amun board. I'll put the link here yeah. on my face. We unbox that. Um, so I thought I'd put together a rig that will double as an acoustic and electric rig um, with no amp required for electric and just an easy load in. So Electric guitar, acoustic guitar and your vocal stuff is on too. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So if you're doing, uh, if you're doubling as an acoustic electric gig, acoustic in, uh, we've got the Korg Pitch Black Tuner straight into the TC Helicon Harmony Singer and uh, that'll track a clean guitar for your vocal harmony. Yeah, it needs to go first in the chain, so it yeah. gets the cleanest possible signal. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you can dial up, and we will do a we will do a full shootout on the TC Helicon on yeah. your rig because you've got one on your mini board. Yeah. Um, so you get third above, the fifth below, third above, fifth above. Um, yeah, and you can get um, dial in harmonies that you need. Um, and all your reverb. Yeah, you and can. And it's got compression and tone yeah. and yeah. stuff like that as well. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. it's a neat little compact um, harmony pedal. It's a bloody beauty. Um, for acoustic into the, the Boss OC3 Super Octave, which is a polyphonic octave, so you can dial that so it can give you some bass comping um, for anywhere you like, but it won't encroach on your treble strings. So. Yeah, so it's not on the treble, but it is on the bottom string. Nice, nice. For the acoustic, because I, I, I bypass all the all the drives and stuff that are in for electric, but into the BBE Sonic Stomp Sonic Maximizer, which is the pedal version of the Rack Sonic Maximizer, yeah, uh, yeah. giving you some um, phase coherence. Uh, people call it and but they sound great. If you've worked with one for a while, and especially on on acoustic guitars, um, and then you switch it out, you go, "What's missing?" Yeah, you're exactly right. Turn, turn I, it on. I, I turn it, I turn it on. Sweet. Use the uh, the Zoom MS50G, which we have done a video on before. The link is covering my face as yep. we speak. Yep. Um, and at the moment, we've just got a nice church reverb. You can, if, if you want, uh, without bumping the, uh, yes, <laughs> it's in a bad spot. <laughs> it's, it's all right. Um, I've got the the Digitech Eye Stomp, which we have done a um, we have done a video on. That's now a link covering my face, because <laughs> you can load any effect into that that you want from your from your phone, and it's still valid now after years in years in the wasteland. Um, <laughs> That one's a ducking delay. Yeah. And it's tap tempo as well. Oh, sweet. So that's cool. Um, I've got a looper at the end. Um, so you can you can loop yourself. You can use it as a drum machine as well. You can load in yep. backing tracks as well and trigger them from here. Yeah, this little unit is an absolute bolt error. We're going to do a yeah. uh, video on this too. Yes, we haven't done one on this, but we will. But once your acoustic sets are out of the way. Oh my God, I'm finished. I'm off to the bar. <laughs> Once I've finished pretending I'm pre-1968 Bob Dylan, or whatever it was, huh. we've gone from acoustic to electric. Well, I'm not sure of the date, I'm sure somebody out there will know. Yeah, so I'll um, plug your electric in, and I've got uh, a basic amp emulation here on the MS50G. So, uh, just a clean Fender Deluxe combo. <laughs> Um, load in the Picasso drive, which is a blues breaker, of course. If I'm needing more gain from that, we go to the Albrick 12 axe, which we've also done a video on. Link here. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Let's see where the sonic storm on and off. So that's nicer on acoustic than it is on electric. I'd put the top end process back a little bit on that. It gives some bottom end. If we need to go any further, then it's the amp drives a boost pedal. Welcome to Boost Town. <laughs> yeah. And they're going to put some delay on this, just, just for something to do. So, there you have it. In a small compact board, you've got your acoustic rig, you've got your vocal harmonies, You've got an amp emulator and you can run your drives into it. And you can loop everything. Yes. And the looper plays the drums. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, show us your boards. Hit subscribe. Yeah, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. Ring that little bell. And um, yeah, show us your boards. If you've got uh, an acoustic electric board that you use. Yeah, um, yeah. Any tips and tricks that you've got always helps us out. You know, we're running, I mean, you got HX Storm, I've got Head Rush as well, but this is an in, another individual um, board. And this looks cool. And you've got some really unique choices on there too with the Orbit 12X. Mm. Um, and some yep. real classic yep. multi effects there yep. with the zoom. Yeah. yeah. Dig them out of your drawer, put them on your board, see what you can do. You've done good, mate. Done very good. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.